and welcome to our crafting session. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm coming to you on Thursday the 22nd of June 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're joining live do say hi and let me know if you're watching and if you're watching on catch up or replay whether that's on facebook or on youtube if you have any questions or comments or just want to say hi then please pop a comment in the comment section on either platform whichever one you prefer and if you have any questions pop them on there and i will get back to you in due course so it's been a really hot day for us here in the uk today and it's forecast to be hot over the weekend and uh, luckily at this time of day my craft room which is at the front of the house is in a little bit is in mostly shade so as long as my blinds have been closed it's relatively relatively cool so this week we have been using a stamp set called beautiful balloons if you've watched any of my lives this week you will have seen me make cards with this particular stamp set and it does have coordinating dies that cut out some of the balloons it cuts out um, the um, I can't think what that's called it cuts that out <laughs> and we've also got this uh, streamer here and some other little pieces as well as the sentiments in addition to that it has some extra balloon dies and it also has this really interesting fringe die. If I just bring this up here so you can see it. It's approximately six inches in length and it has these um, parallel lines that run right the way through. And what I've done is I've taken a six by six piece of paper from the coordinating paper pack and popped this on the edge and cut it out and you can see the effect that you get this would be perfect for grass for example and you can either leave it completely flat or you can curl it up like you would for example with curling ribbon so you could use a bone folder or a soft pencil you don't really want one that's got very sharp edges but a round pencil would be good but you could do it with a you can even do it with a pair of scissors if you were gentle. So you can curl these to get a really nice um, fringe effect. So I'm going to be using this die to make my card this evening. And it's a little bit of an um, experiment because I haven't made a card <laughs> using this fringe. Um, and I've got two ideas in my head and I'm not sure which one is going to work so I'll probably have to try both so what I've done is I've taken that particular die and from the coordinating paper which has um, an ombre effect sheet I have cut some strips and these strips to start with were one and a half inches and all I did was if you imagine this was one and a half inches without any cuts on it I literally just put the die right to the edge of that obviously on the other side in this case and run it through the machine and what you ideally want to do is run it through at an angle like that rather than like that it's much kinder to your machine so I've done that and then what that does is it doesn't have any edges so you can you can put that anywhere on your card and it won't separate the card and then what I did was I went back and I with my guillotine I trimmed this at just under my one and a half inches so that the um, edge was then released if you like so I cut them out in three different colours from the paper so this is lemon lime twist this is misty moonlight and this is berry burst and my plan is to layer those up together I also cut out this one which is one of the sheets that has all of the colours 
from this particular paper pack in it and I thought that might look quite nice on the top. So the idea that is in my head is to layer, for example, three of these. I haven't decided which order they're going to go in, but layer them like so. And then, and obviously they'll be nicely organised, pop a piece of card on the top that I have stamped with my sentiment and that might be um, so I've got two options one is balloons going all the way across it and the other one is this one with the um, banners so I'm going to do one of each and then I'm going to decide which one to use and I've also got you did it which I'm going to stamp in the middle I think so before I put these together and remember, this is my stamp set of the week, so if you purchase that, you'll get all of these components for your card, if you buy it during this week, up till and including Sunday. So let's just do a quick bit of stamping. So these are just um, card width, I want to say. This might be a little bit bigger. No, that's a card width, and that's a card width. It's funny how they look different, isn't it? No, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to stamp that you did it first, and I'm just going to pick up those um, colours. So I have got Misty Moonlight from our Neutrals, Berry Burst from our Brights, and the returning also Lemon Nine Twist. In fact, those three, I'm pretty sure, all came together originally as in colours. So I'm going to use Misty Moonlight for my sentiment. So I haven't got too much pink going on, and then that would make it suitable for um, any audience, really. So, just going to try this one out. It says, you did it. So, if you're live and watching, do say hi. I've got absolutely no um, comments coming up, so I apologise. If you're there and commenting, I can't see any for some bizarre reason. Okay, so I'm going to put this one fairly centrally. Okay, who knows? And I'm going to do the same with this one. Like so. So one I'm going to do balloons and the other one I'm going to do the banners. So let's just open the other ink pads and give them a go. So I hope everybody's had a good day. As I say, here in the UK, the weather's been glorious. Right, let's see. So I've got a big balloon. Might be a little bit too big, but do you know what? Let's just go with it. Okay, so just going to have them going along in different colours and I've just put my cloth down somewhere there it is so let's do one in Misty Moonlight let's have this a little way off the edge otherwise I'll have no room for anything Okay, so there's that one there. And then let's use the middle sized one. So I've got lemon line twist. And I think I'm just going to move a little bit of that ink to one side because it is very inky. And you can do this if you have a new ink pad or you have overfilled an ink pad. Don't blot it. Just use something to move the ink to the edge. Do your stamping using the lighter area and then it'll work its way back again naturally. Okay, so let's have this one here. And I've chosen these colours so that they go with the papers that I've chosen. But also you could 
you could do these in any sets of colours, couldn't you? Um, let's have Berry Burst. So, and very inky misty moonlight similarly and you could if you wanted to add some die cut balloons on top of this I've just got a little bit of ink left that I've missed so I'm just going to try and stamp this on there there we go um, and there is a small balloon so I think I am going to grab that one there's this little solid balloon here And we also have strings, but I didn't want the strings to sort of confuse what I was doing. So let's go as is. So let's use a little bit of lemon lime twist down here. And maybe up here. Like so. And... So I've got, just going to have another blue one. So this is Misty Moonlight. This is the solid stamp again. And I haven't got a, a mat underneath. I really should have a mat. I'm stamping on a piece of real wood, um, which probably has a few imperfections in it. So, but there we go. We'll go with it. Right, let me see. It looks like we have some comments on my main screen. We do indeed. Hi Carol and Carol. <laughs> Two Carols. Rainy and cool Maryland, one of my Carols. <laughs> Lovely to have you join us Carol. I'm looking forward to meeting you in Las Vegas. So I've got this one here then with the balloons and then I'm going to have my fringes underneath. And then I'm going to do one with the streamers, the banners, and then I'll decide which one I use. I might make up the other card anyway. Um, so let's see how we get on. Right, Lemon Lime Twist is Carol's favourite colour. I can understand that. Um, right, so I'm going to use the same colours and do these streamers, because I thought this is perfect for any sort of congratulations card and in fact this whole stamp set is perfect for that so if you haven't caught any of my earlier lives this week do head on to youtube or scroll back through facebook and you will find some so i'm just going to do a sort of crisscross effect here um, let's use the same color and because it's quite a narrow stamp I'm always going to take the ink pad to the stamp just to help prevent, not guaranteed, but just to help prevent catching the edges of the block. Okay, so let's pop one here, like that, and I'm using this big block because it is a very long stamp. It only just fits on that block as it is. Okay, so that's those and then let's bring in, uh, let's take a Misty Moonlight next, like so. So thank you to everybody who took advantage of the free shipping yesterday. And why not? Okay, I'm going to pop this one sort of across. Now this might end up a complete mess. And if it does, I'll stick with the balloons. It's just the way it goes, isn't it? So sometimes the ideas in my head work and sometimes they definitely don't. 
right let's give this a go so this is lemon lime twist on our streamer do you call these something different in america i wonder carol streamers banners is there another name for them um i'm going to put one here and even though i'm only stamping a small part i do like to ink up the whole thing because if you only ink up a part and you turn it round, you might just miss that little bit of ink you've added. There we go. Oh, I didn't need to clean that because I'm going to do another one. <laughs> hey ho. Right. And let's pop this one across here. There's not really a rhyme the reason where these are going. Just want it to look like somebody's strung them all up across the top. Like so. Okay, what did she say? Streamers or banners. Okay, perfect. Brilliant. Right. Feeling this this feels a little bit empty here. So I'm going to add another bit of blue, misty moonlight across there. And then in the set, we also have, um, obviously the strings, but we've got these little dots and stars and then also these little squiggles. So if I have any gaps and I feel I need to fill them up, I can use those. Right, let's move this one out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the die cut fringe and create the bottom half of the card. And it may be that this piece gets trimmed down, I don't know. So let's make it look as if that is connected to that one, maybe. There we go. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for the minute because I don't want to overdo it until I put everything together. Let's put that over there. Let's close these ink pads. Okay, that's a nice colour combination, isn't it? Lemon Lime Twist, Misty Moonlight and Berry Burst. Certainly those two came together as ink colours, I'm pretty sure. Probably you forget. You really do forget okay so those are my two the two tops of my card and then I'm going to put some of these fringes together so I'm going to take three like that and I'll either put this on a colored card or a piece of white card I haven't quite decided and I know that this should be very slightly bigger because it's six inches than my base card will be so i'm just going to have a look and see how this is going to look so you can space these out as much as you wish or have them as close together this one is going to go on the top to sort of bring them all together and then either that one or that one and I might need to trim this down because this is bigger to start with anyway okay so let me lift it up so you can see it like so so I think I can space them a little bit more I haven't got a lot to play with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold these up a little bit I've got um just got a brush of a, a blending brush handle that I'm going to use I don't want to go mad because they're quite delicate you don't want to be ripping them but and of course we've got the stars on the other side that would also work but I think that might be just a little bit too much for today we've got a lot going on on our card okay i can't believe it's friday tomorrow 
goodness me. Okay, so which one am I going to have at the bottom? I think I'm going to have Misty Moonlight, Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, and then that one. So the lightest one is sandwiched in the middle. And what I'm going to do is apply glue to the back of this. I haven't really worked out which is the best way to do it. And we'll find out in a minute, won't we? I haven't seen many demonstrations using this set in this way. I've seen it with one, one layer of fringe on a card. Uh, take the glasses off. So, and I guess if you wanted to, you could measure that. Let's have a look at it from the back. Okay. And it really doesn't matter whether these layers at this point are level either, just as well, really. Okay, so glue on this bit. Not going to put glue on here because if I put it too high and put it on, it won't actually end up attached. So my theory is to put it onto this piece. And you can all laugh if it goes completely wrong. There's always that chance, isn't there? Okay, now I can just see on this one that I haven't quite taken the edge of this so I'm just going to grab some scissors um, she says I've seen them um, ba -ba -ba -bum. there they are I'm just going to take this very edge off like so now this would be great for grass because what you could do is cut strips of green, put the fringe on it and then cut a wavy a wavy line. So just doing it by eye really, putting that one on. go it's got one two three and then this one is going to go on top and then my layer is going to go on top of that and with any luck that's going to fit my card and if not I might need to add a layer at the bottom so just adding this bit in sorry about the scratching that's Cassie's dog Just put this on here, like so. Okay, now I've finished with the most of the glue. Let's have a look and see how this is going to work. I lift that up so you can see it. That definitely works, doesn't it? So let me have a look on base card colours. So I've got Lemon Lime Twist. That will keep um, Kawa happy. And oh, this is what you call amazing luck, isn't it, really? That that goes together. And if I bring this down a little bit, you'll see the Lemon Lime Twist at the top and the bottom, which I think I rather like, as opposed to the white. What do you think? The white or the lemon lime twist? Let me just see and have a sip of my cold drink. So any preferences, 
lemon lime twist or white i'm thinking lemon lime twist just gives it that um level of interest So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on first and then I can adjust the position of this because I know it's roughly going to fit rather than put this all together and then find it's too big or way too small. So I'm going to put this one on first. So I'm going to show a little bit of that lemon lime twist at the bottom. And the nice thing about this is if that isn't straight it doesn't matter because it's going to be hidden. So what I'm going to do is, because this is all solid now on the back, is I'm going to use my wet glue just up, just short of the fringe. And I will need to trim the edge off because I know this is six inches and this is slightly smaller. So I can see I've done the same on this blue piece. That, and that's because I cut two layers together. Now this is like cutting somebody's fringe, isn't it? You start off straight and then you go completely haywire. There we go. Right, okay. <laughs> Hi cats. Thanks for joining us. It doesn't matter if you're late in the slightest. So here's my fringe. <laughs> and I'm going to position this. I'm actually going to move it slightly off to the left. And slightly off to the right. Because this is slightly bigger than my card. So that I can trim it exactly on either side. So that's there. And then I've got two I've got two alternatives. <laughs> so I've got you did it with balloons or I've got you did it with the banners. I it, this feels too a bit too naked here. I suppose I could put some balloons on there so it has balloons and banners. What do you think? Or shall I just stick with the balloons? Like so any suggestions welcome let me check my glasses see if anybody has a preference <laughs> cat's saying if her kids fringes or anything to go by <laughs> she should use the trimmer bless you Right, I think I'm going with, oh, I really can't decide. I think I'm going with the balloons, just because they're more bright and cheerful, and that's what Carol says. Use the banners, add die cut balloons, yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, I've got, I've got some die cut balloons here that I could add, especially the small ones and the middle sized ones I could put on here you're quite right or I could stamp it and make another card but my gut feel is for those fabulous balloons so that's what we're going to go for thank you for your input ladies so I'm going to attach this first and then I'm going to trim either side just to neaten it up. I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to pop it flat. Like so. So just a scribble of glue, not too thick. Glasses got to come off so I can see what I'm doing.
that looks fairly good like so and I definitely want to add a bit of bling to this okay so I'm just going to trim this I'm actually going to use my um, guillotine oh I've just thrown the card on the floor though Right, I'm going to trim this off. Bear with me one second. All the curly bits in the way. And just trim the other side. and I do need to just trim it with scissors because it was straight up because I folded these up it hasn't sat very well on the back so let's just trim that little piece there it's got four layers of paper it's going through I didn't think about that did I okay there we go I'm going to add a little bit of bling I think I'm just going to put some plain rhinestones on. I could pick out the colours, but I'm just going to use, um, if I can see some, some plain rhinestones, and we're done. So I will finish off the other card as well. I might um, cut a few additional strips. Let's see what I've got. It's got the, it's got pink and blue. That would definitely work. Sorry, I'm rifling through my plain ones I really do need to sort out my bag of blue bags I should say in plural okay yes of course I can't see them can I let's see And then it is a lighter blue, but it will do the job. And I'll do another light blue. I'm going to try a smaller one. Hoping, yes, I have got that. There we go. So it's got a bit of pink, a bit of blue. So there we go. So there's our finished front of card. And then on the inside of that, I could put a congratulations or the um, that fab sentiment from um, my go to stamp set, Charming Sentiments. Um, it's just got because you totally deserve it it's got congratulations it's got um super fantastic mega news i think that's what i'm going to use actually i don't use that one very often so this would be perfect for somebody who's passed their exams got into university um question is i'm going to put it onto a white card on the inside why not is this the right size no I 
looking about the right size. Let's just trim a piece down there and then I can put some balloons on and then that super fantastic mega news sentiment. So just going to trim this at 14.85. And then cut this down to 10 centimeters and then take off half a centimeter there. That way, I know that the pieces are left over are complete either card fronts or base cards. Let's bring our paper back in, let's add our super mega fantastic news. And we're done. Some streamers. Oh yes, that's a good idea. Carol's going to get it at the end of my. Oh, it's just so fab. I absolutely love it. You can, if you haven't seen them already, you can go back and see all my cards from my Facebook lives. And we used it a coffee and card, and everybody did a great job. So this is using some of the die cuts as well. And it's also my class in a box, so there's lots of other um, ideas. So let's use Mr. Moonlight. Super fantastic mega news. There we go. And streamers, do we think? So we've got something different on the inside. That's what Carol in the States is suggesting. And why not? I'll just clean this off because I can't remember what colour this was. Yes, you be quiet. Right. So I'm just going to ink this one up. This one. hot now I've shut, had to shut the windows and now I'm very hot okay let's do that one and then one each of the other two colors and that just brings all in together so lemon lime twist and berry burst sorry about the reflection that's the only problem about having my lights on so lemon lime twist decide how to put it there we go one and then very burst and there we have it so it's supposed to be hot for us this weekend, 28 degrees centigrade is what they're saying. So that will be fun games. I really feel for people who don't like the heat when it's like this here for us. Um, let's do it like this. Difficult to make streamers look natural, isn't it? <laughs> I want to put one there because I've got four now. And there we are. So we've got chicken and salad this evening. That's my next port of call. So sorry this has gone on a bit longer than normal. Um, let's just pop this one 
here. Brilliant. So I've got a lot of friends with children that have just finished exams and things like that. So with any luck, I'll be able to send this to somebody that has passed some exams and is on to their next stage of their either their education or their career. So I will use the other one that I've created and make a similar card just so I don't waste my little streamers. There we go. So I've got a small gap all the way around. And that's it. Card is finished. So there go. And I think this would suit um, any occasion. And I also think it would suit boy or girl. Because although there's a bit of pink in there, there's plenty of blue and green. So quite neutral um, colour designs. So there we are. So thank you for joining me today. That will be the end of my lives using a Bright and Beautiful. Um, and that's the balloon set and the dies. If you want to see lots of ideas and inspiration, then you can just go to my YouTube channel um, and you'll see both all, the, uh, both all the designs for my card class, which are different to this, and then also the ones that I've done at Coffee and Card. So there we are. I hope you like it. Something slightly different um, with the little fringes. Um, I'm pretty sure you could also make little flowers out of these by rolling them up and then folding the fringes back. So I think there's um, plenty more to be had using this set. So thank you so much for joining us everybody. I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you're watching from and what time you're watching. Um, I appreciate you jo joining me, I appreciate your comments. And I look forward to catching up with you really soon. So bye for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.